Um, this morning we, we, we shared about identifying and understanding the spirit of Levi. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And we read the story of Jacob. We all know that Jacob worked with his uncle, who is called Levi. But before that, I, I hope we know Jacob. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody tell me Jacob Nenani. Who is Jacob? Jacob ni mtoto wa nani? Isaac. 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 Alikuwa na brother na ikuwa nani? Esau. Esau. And what happened between the two? Esau wa lipanyani? Uh-huh. Aliuza uh, the, 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 his, his birthright to, to Jacob. Jua nini? Fire. That is not our portion in Jesus' name. <laughs> so in other words, that was also an exchange that happened. He exchanged his birthright for food. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So he was so angry that he was planning that once his father died, he is going to kill his brother. That's what he was planning. And when it came to his mother's ear, she told Jacob what the brother is planning. And she had advised him to run away and go to her brother, who is called Laban. So that's what happened. Jacob ran away and went to his uncle called Laban. And as he was there, when he arrived, now we are going to, to read about it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So we read from Genesis chapter 29, from verse 13 to 30. Then it came to pass when Laban heard the report about Jacob, his sister's son, that he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house. So he told Laban all these things. And Laban said to him, Surely you are my bone and my flesh. And he stayed with him for a month. Then Laban said to Jacob, Because you are my relative, should you therefore serve me for nothing? Tell me what you should, what, what should your wages be? Now Laban had two daughters, the name of the elder was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. Leah's eyes were delicate, and Rachel was beautiful of form and appearance. Now Jacob loved Rachel, so he said, I will serve you seven years for Rachel, your younger daughter. And Laban said, it is better that I give her to you than that I should give her to another man. Stay with me. So Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed only a few days to him because of the love he had for her. Then Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife, for my days are fulfilled, that I may go into her. And Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made the feast. Now it came to pass in the evening that he took Leah, his daughter, and brought her to Jacob, and he went into her. And Laban gave his maid Zippa to his daughter Leah as a maid. So it came to pass in the morning that behold, it was Leah. And he said to Laban, What is this you have done to me? Was it not for Rachel that I have I served you? Why then have you deceived me? And Laban said, It must not be done so in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. Fulfill her week. And we will give you this one also for the service which you will serve with me still another seven years. Then Jacob did so and fulfilled her week. So he gave him his daughter Rachel as wife also, and Laban gave his maid Bilhah to his daughter. When the Lord saw, oh sorry, Rachel as a maid, okay. He and Laban gave his maid Bilhah to his daughter Rachel as a maid. Then Jacob also went into her, and he also loved Rachel more than Leah, and he served with Laban still another seven years. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The title of this sermon is Identifying and Understanding the Spirit of Laban. First of all, I will, I will define what is the spirit of Laban. Laban. The spirit of Laban is the spirit of demonic exchange. Praise the name of the Lord. The spirit of labor is the spirit of demonic exchange. You can see here that Jacob worked because he wanted 
Rachel as a wife. But after completing seven years, he received the wrong bride. He received Leah that he did not love. Actually, the Bible described Leah, uh, uh, Leah's eyes as being delicate. With all due respect, not to mock, but the eyes are and they are not normal like our eyes. She did not have this 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 black thing in the in the eye. So when she looks left, you you think she's looking right. So he did not love her. And that is the wife that he received. Mm. That is the exchange that happened. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm. Actually, one of the exchanges that happened in the house of Laban towards Jacob. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm. So the spirit, the spirit of Laban is a demonic exchange that may not need your consent. Laban did not ask Jacob what whether he could take Leah first, then Rachel later. Praise the name of the Lord. And Yamua to Abati. Now see who So Jacob did not even realize that he is being given the wrong bride. I was I was wondering here. That is why to define a rusty unambiwa, a book from who are your network and you, Bizuri. Exchanges are real. Eh? Sister Akia and Isaac Tibonua Bizuri now put a number eh. Now put a Munanda honeymoon and a poor big up on a day on a seva. Oh, are you going away? Things have been done. Praise the name of the Lord. So the spirit of exchange, the, the demonic exchange, may not need your consent. It is just done. You, you deal with the consequences later. So Jacob suffered a demonic exchange in his uncle's house. Praise the name of the Lord. So the uncle had told him very well, you want to work for free. Tell me what you want. And the same way when you start a job, you agree with your boss about the salaries. Praise the name of the Lord. Then Badaya and Akuletea told you, oh, I'm going to put you in the bank of the bank. Eh? Maybe the first month, utalipa hiyo, mshara mulikubaliana, utalipiwa, uta, utatumiwa tu kwa account, vizuri na ufurahie. The second month, utatumiwa kwa M-Pesa. The month that follows, utalekewa cash kwa mkono. Una, uta, utaabiwa, unatua uku mangu wa yedi vizuri. Na we mwenyewe ukiona the, 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 the works that is going on there. As in, ni kukunyanyasa tu. So what you do, unadua tu, hapa na nyanyaso. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That is the spirit of labor. The objective of this sermon is that you may understand whether your life is, is going the, the right direction. And your mungu ametaka uwebu. Ama you are under something like this you can identify with this kind of spirit praise the name of the lord because the spirit of god ministered to me as i was preparing this that the year this is the year of the great catch do you still remember the thing the lord has released blessings over people breakthroughs have been released blessings have been released people have cried for jobs it has been released Promotions have been released. Great business deals have been released. But what is happening? Demonic exchanges. Praise the name of the Lord. Demonic exchanges are happening. The spirit of labor. Why are we calling it spirit of labor? Because we can identify with him. In the Bible, he is the one who operated in that spirit. That is why he is called the spirit of labor. Praise the name of the Lord. So, we need to understand that there is such a thing that is happening in the spirit that we may be able to stand firm and war so that we may possess our possessions. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The word of God says that since the time of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violence shall take it by force. Praise the name of the Lord. So to kiomba hapa na tukisema wachawi wakufe, please, don't say no. Say you are Christ. Don't you never go there? My duty. Yes. Say you are there. After what you say, you see you are not in my own. The Bible says, "Suffer not for a witch to live." There are some things that we need to understand so that we possess our possessions. When a thief enters your house 
and want to steal, and you are in a position to defend yourself, what do you do? When you have a gun and you have a knife, what do you do? Me, I will not hesitate. Sitaki kujua kama nijai ni kuleta. Bora tu we ni muizi. I will shoot you. And report to the police. Mwenja kujaki siku. There is a way you come to negotiate. Kama nijai ni kuleta kwa mbu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But as long as he unanifunji ya nilango, it, it means there is something precious that I have that you need. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. What do I do? I protect that, that, that thing that I have. Yes. That's what we have come to do today. I will say in the morning, Sijakuja kubiri sana. There is a way, I like the way the Spirit of God is moving faster. I thank God for our pastor, he is deep. Today is just, we are coming to break some things. I don't know what, but we are coming to break some things. And the Lebanic spirit is not only, you know, uh, it, it, it is, if I give a second definition, the spirit of labor is the spirit of injustice. Praise the name of the Lord. Kona watu, with all due respect, kona watu wamewefanya wa indi kazi, Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I will not enter into details. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So those ones, they have their gods. They are idol worshippers. So when Christo kienda kumfanya kazi, usiwa ifikiria. If you are not deep into spirit, if you are not mature spiritually, if you are not sensitive, ata iyo pesa kuna kitu tawe fanya. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You will work for years and retire and you will have nothing to show. Hallelujah. Amen. So the spirit of labor is the spirit of injustice. You will never receive your pay the way you are supposed to. You are not paid according even to the qualifications that you have. Mara bosa taamua na kulipa akitaka. Injustice. Si mama ni kifanya kazi unafaa ku receive your pay. Yeah, yeye yeah, anaamua kama utapata ama utapata. Na hapo whatever is keeping there you ever ask yourself. And as long as you are there, hakuna njia nyingine inafunguka. Umewekwa wapi? Zero grazing. Hmm? Zero grazing ni wale wa kuda ngombe si naelewa hii. Yeah. Nimewahi kuwa mkulima so naelewa. So ngombe inakulia hapo. Hapo. Na kama yeye umefunga naye, umefungwa naye ni kashot, akaendi mbali na unazunguka. Na ukizunguka kwa na mti mwingine iko katikati, kamba imefungwa hapo. So ukizunguka sana kamba inakuwa fupi. Okay. Inaendelea kuwa aje? Kuwa fupi. Maisha inakufinya. Praise the name of the Lord. But we have come here today to break them. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command that spirit to break. The people of God are breaking free from the spirit of labor, from the spirit of injustice. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord has promised us that this year we are going forward. And that's what is going to happen. By force, by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. So Jacob was never paid very well. His uncle changed ten times his wages. Ten times, can you imagine? For example, you are very happy with your You are very happy with your hands. Then at the end of the day, you are very happy with your hands. You are very happy with Then, you are very happy with your hands. You are very happy Praise the name of the Lord. Hey, you are very We come against it in the name of Jesus. And that's what is bringing hardship to the people of God. And what, when, you know the devil is very strategic. I was saying in the morning, those who say that uh, Shetani ni mjinga, hmm. na wambiaga, nenda ukajifikiri vizuri kama iyo jina umesema siyo wewe mwenyeo. Kwa sababu this guy, Satan, has lived in heaven. Hakuna ujinga uko. Are we together? Hakuna ujinga biguni. Na uyo jamani mzee kuliko wewe. Ujinga yaki metokezea wapi. He is a strategizer. He knows that if you struggle, the kingdom of God will not advance. If you cannot even feed, Sadaka utaitua wapi? 
na sisi tunatoka mbali fair ya kukuja hata kanisani so that i can bring this kind of word that will open the mind of people itatoka wapi so ukiona kanisa imavinyika angalia mifukoni ya watu salimia dada yako share with her what is she going through are you going through the similar thing if yes you are an attack the body of christ is an attack Praise the name of the Lord because the time is coming that God is going to raise kingdom financiers from the church and the devil I see it coming and so what he is going to do is akweke hapo hapo uwezi kula unapocheka hata hata pesa ya kwenda hospitali uwezi pata ama mshahara ukipokea tu hivi ndio hiyo mtoto mmoja anakonjeka ugonja kubwa kubwa inakuja kwa familia and maybe in your family you are standing with your family even to feed some of us praise the name of the lord so she that in the name of Jesus was on Jesus on Jesus we have come to arrest that strategy in the name of Jesus Christ by the fire of the holy ghost we have come today to put an end to that struggle we have come today to put an end to that strategy in the name of Jesus Christ the people of God must rise the people of God must prosper the people of God must go forward in the name of Jesus Christ amen praise the name of the lord amen the spirit of labor is a spirit, a spirit of household enemy ngani ya familia yako There are some people in their families there is only one person that has risen the big boss akikuja kila mtu anamuoshe yeye anasaidia hapa na pale hapa na pale Praise the name of the Lord Amen Now sometimes those kind of people they have no respect for others Kwa sababu kama ni yeye anakufeed anakusaidia Kila anasema ndio watu wanafanya but what we do not understand in the spirit i'm not saying that ni lazima wote wako hivyo but most of the time and you as a christian if you are in such a family si mungu akufungue macho ya kiroho in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ if you are here and you are blind spiritually i command your eyes to open if you are here and you are dead spiritually i command your five senses to wake up in the name of jesus christ wherever your ears have been buried i remove it by the power of the holy ghost whatever has closed your eyes i wash it by the blood of jesus christ in the name of jesus we cannot be christian the carriers of the power of god na tumekaliwa it is until we understand these things and rise praise the name of the lord amen the levitic spirit is also in churches hallelujah amen praise the name of the lord amen Satan is strategic I am telling you. Oh this is not the plan of God. The Lebanic spirit is the plan of Satan and he has placed human agents everywhere. In your office wako. You have some colleagues. Not everybody is everybody. You have colleagues that are not like you. They are there on a mission. Once promotion wants to rise, huyo ndo anapeleka mdomo mbele huyo kwa hivi aa fight promotiwa promotion inapotea tu pia hivyo that is a divine agent praise the name of the lord amen the churches they are there we may not know them maybe they are not here if they are not here we are lucky but if they are here as i'm standing on this altar in the name of jesus i raise my hands sir, by the power of the holy ghost sir, by who in the name of Jesus the son of the living god i arise by the power of the holy ghost ninawangua katika jina la yesu tunawapepeta waokolewe na moto in the name of jesus waachilie baraka za watu wa mungu waachilie baraka za kanisa katika jina la yesu kristo they have no rest today let them come for judgment our god is rising against them for judgment in the name of jesus let them be judged every demonic human agent this year is our year of great yes. every demonic human agent planted in this church intentionally by satan to fulfill his evil agenda 
Today you are not lucky. You are not lucky. You are not lucky. You are not lucky. You, lucky. you receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Generations will be 
also worshiping their gods. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And as we have come now and say, no, we want to serve God. Now, maybe they are dead. Those great grandfathers, they are dead. But the altars are still there, living and operating. Sometimes, sometimes, you are going to ask God for grace and power to give you the anointing, the Gideon anointing, that you may demolish those altars and build up another godly altar. Otherwise, the Lebanic spirit operates through the ancestral altars and frustrates you. You want to serve God. Now, because you are praying, they cannot kill you. They frustrate your finances. They frustrate your work. You cannot progress. Your family cannot progress. You cannot get married. Your children cannot study well. Business cannot progress. Lebanese spirit. And that is not just a spirit. That is now a system. But we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Every Lebanese system that has been built in place that we may not prosper. What are you waiting for? That's why you are in the name Wamemaliza university, 
bado marejo anawalisha Jesus eh mpaka hata anawekea msikana mimba wanakuja tu kwa kwa mare sasa mare ni single mother kwa uma lebanic spirit are we getting something You know the word of God is the, the carrier of the power of God. You can just sit down the way you are sitting, hearing the word of God, and you get delivered. May your mind be delivered in the name of Jesus. That situation is not a normal situation. That situation is satanic, and the Lord is coming against it today. The Lord is here today to deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. So the spirit of labor is the spirit of divination, witchcraft that they used to manipulate and control people's life. Laban was an idol worshiper. What are you going to do with Biblia? See it on the door of Laban. He was an idol worshiper, a witch. He used to know. He, he used to see the star of David. He used to know, uh, I mean Jacob. He used to know that. He used the divination to know that It is because Jacob is around him that he is blessed. There are some people you live with them. Please look at their lives and look at yours. Some people you are with them, you, you they are blessed because you are with them. Praise the name of the Lord. Have you realized that there are some men they marry a woman when they marry her immediately kila kitu kinabadilika. Maisha inakuwa mazuri lakini hiyo sio shida because you have become one. Sawa sawa. So wanaume bwana Yesu asipiwe. Usiwae ovyo ovyo. Hoa mwenye unajua when she comes around things will be well. But you can touch macho ya kiro. Ndio mwezako unahitaji macho ya kiro. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Eh? Kuna mtu alikuwa ananiambia, "Yeye huyu asiwae kwa mioko. I don't know what she she meant." In the bush, eh? Yes. Okay, kwa mioko. Okay. <laughs> so, let us use divination to understand. Uh, let's read Genesis chapter 30. Verse uh, 27 in the NIV version. <coughs> But, Le- but Laban said to him, mm-hmm. "If I have found favor in your eyes, mm-hmm. please stay. Mm-hmm. I have learned by divination that mm-hmm. the Lord has blessed me because of you." Praise the name of the Lord. Mm-hmm. I have learned by divination. Kwa hivyo, kuna kitu alikuwa anatumia. Hiyo kitu, hiyo power ambayo ilikuwa power ya Mungu, ndio divination. Unaelewa hii maneno? Yes. Siko na watu hata katika dunia wanaweza kuprofesaia mambo yes. na kweli kabisa ya maisha yako. Yes. Na wataogoka. Yes. Those are diviners. Yes. Na hata kwa makanisa siku hizi kuna madiva. Yes. Wanatumia tu jina ya Mungu kufanya biashara kwa sababu haki. Tukiandika hapa welcome to divination center. Nani ataingia? Wale wataingia wataingia na dini usiku. Praise the name of the Lord. Sina kwanga hiyo. Anajipitanga. Hii siku hizi wanaenda live pia. So it is another part of the power okay the portal that can be opened to anybody to see the spiritual realm but they are using the wrong channel. Huyo ndio leba. So alikuwa anafanya hivyo na anaelewa maisha ya ya Jeko jinsi Jeko amebarikiwa sana. Na anajua Jeko akiwa hapa atakuwa anafanya hiyo exchange usifikirie wanabarikiwa tu bure kubarikiwa hiyo ni kumaanisha wewe wanaiba kwako wanaishi na zako umewahi sikia ati wanaiba nyota 
may may ask you expression is the thing mwana biashara mukristo utafadhali ukifungua biashara understand this warfare things clean the environment very well declare that your spirit will dominate the environment otherwise unafungua biashara hapa utaomba tu utagoma mambo bure huyu divine hapa customer zako hana divert sote praise the name of the lord there is a revelation that i had gotten I, about this church when i come i shared with pastor but we prayed about it and even these prayers that we are praying about it they are going to work because we are praying according to the word of god we are praying with understanding and revelation what you need as a christian is to pray with understanding pray according to the word of god the word of god is the sword of the spirit sharper than any other two edges sword so when you have come and you have got the revelation here go and pray now you are empowered go and pray see at tunaomba hapa unaiacha hapana ukiingia kwa hiyo duka in fact usiende nyumbani ukitoka hapa ingia kwa hiyo duka piga hizi maombi sawa sawa you have to dismantle that system that because ni system amen wa kristo sisi ndio hatujui kuputa a system unaelewa in your circle of friends as a christian who do you have marafiki zako ni wale kwa umeokoka fanya fanya ama ni wale bado wanaenda kwa club wakikuja kwako hamna story yenye itakuempower mnapiga wachawi wako na system unaelewa wako na system let me tell you I'll show you with a dream I had naona wachawi wa kwetu shago my country is called Ivory Coast West Africa we are in East Africa and I see some people from my village having some meetings with people of the compound where I was living are you getting this let me use swahili nimeona watawi wa kwangu shago ni nchi nyingine na waona kwa mkutano wa wachawi na wachawi huku Kenya kwa plot huku Nairobi mahali ninaishi is that not a system yes system are you understanding yes, i came to understand kumbe asijajificha unafikiri umetoka ushago umekuja Nairobi umeepa oh let me tell you the system is at work hello hello Na kwa mungu siku kuomba unasinzia. My brother, my sister. The system, is real. The system is working. It's real. Nimetoka kwa hiyo usingizi. What did I see? Sijui ni nini niliomba. Mpaka asubuhi nilikuwa naomba. Amen. Ni siku ya mwalimu mmoja hivi akanipigia watoto watakuja shule leo. Ndio nikafungua macho kumbe ni asubuhi. Wa nikashtuka. Yaani awalipi ndege lakini wanasafiri. Wewe Mkristo unasafiri? Do you enter into deep prayer? Mpaka unajikuta kwa nyumba ya baba yako, unaoa hizo madabao. Praise the name of the Lord. Do you do that? Wanasafiri wao unangorota. <laughs> Unadiskasiwa internationally. My God, I get to realize what even if you go to London, the system is unakuja Nairobi unasema mimi nimetoka kwa hiyo kitu chao good welcome welcome be violent stand on it be violent be violent hallelujah now the time came jacob aliamua kwenda ah uh, we will not read that one because it is a long story now he was desiring also to go and have his family on his own leave his uncle's house but because he was tired he had nothing what will he go with what will he you know take care of his family with so god gave him an idea pastor alikuza hiyo asubuhi katika hiyo bed i had not reached there ma mifuko za labor zilikuwa plain colors let me call it like that simple words 
No, ile formula Mungu alipea Jacob ikawa the, the animals that were now being born zilikuwa na spots ma, ma doa doa. Praise the Lord. Na walikuwa wamekubaliana na ngo yake ya kwamba zile zita zitazaliwa zikiwa na spots zikuwe ni zake aweze kuchukua kwenda. Praise the name of the Lord. So because of the idea that God gave him he implemented the idea. And now zenye zimezaliwa zikawa wengi wengi sana. In other words God aliamua tu ku restore Jacob. So akabeba hizo. Vile ako yake aliyo alisikia vibaya. Alikuwa ameamua amua rest Jacob. But one thing I like that has read in Genesis chapter 31 verse 24 NLT version. Maybe he had a plan again to control Jacob so that he does not go. A plan maybe to harm Jacob because he felt Jacob had been better with Yaqub. If you are there read for me in NLT version. The Bible says But the previous night God appeared to Laban in a dream. Mm-hmm. Be careful about what you say to Jacob. He was told. So Laban Yeah, it's okay. Praise the name of the Lord. Maybe he had some evil plans against Jacob, but the Lord appeared to him. The Lord appeared to him to warn him that he should not touch Jacob. He should be careful even what he will utter. May the Lord appear to our enemies tonight. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. May the Lord appear to them yes. and warn them yes. to release our blessings, yes. to release our belongings, yes. to release our children, yes. to release our next level, yes. to release our jobs, yes. to release our next level, yes. to release our education, yes. to release our promotion yes. in the name of Jesus. Mungu aka atamwambia eh wewe chunga simkuze hata kila utamwambia yani be just careful what you say I gave a testimony to pastor I served and uh, we are online sita sita ena into details because he's a popular man in I I served under a man let me say a man of God for five years powerful ministry kadala bizuri but you know John Nwambia even the labor side church is also for one reason or the other you know mother bow sasa si lazima zikop sana na inaweza onekana there is a way you know i'm way i'm going to the same way So this did not go well. I ended up quitting the ministry. But the man uttered things and did things. He did not just utter, he did also. So somehow I was struggling, but I've been praying. I've been praying. Now when I came across this particular word, Genesis chapter 20, verse 31 verse 24. That the Lord appeared to Laban to warn him. I began to pray this prayer. I said, to whoever is contributing to what I am going through, Lord, may you appear to them. Today, let that be your prayer. May you appear to them. Because some people, we have subjected ourselves to them as leaders, as authorities. So some prayers you may pray, you may pray you may pray and you feel like it is not working let the lord appear to them in the name of jesus he, he will not just appear he will also warn them yes he will warn them Amen. and command them Amen. to release you Amen. what happened in the testify pastor if you remember the man <laughs> the man and his wife they decided to let her there they just came back like I was like, hey, 
And those are people I never expected they would come to my house. They came. What did they come to do? Like the Spirit of God, at <laughs> the God has asked us to come and meet you. But because he's a big man, eh? a world national minister, uh, director, I, I could feel there is something going on. But the kind of prayers they were praying, Baba to Natuku, Yale to Betena, Utisame, Ufanyeni. I was like, wow, God has appeared to somebody. May He appear to your enemies tonight. May He appear to your lepers tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, God will appear to that boss. Akwambi, who you want to be a guy? why God is going to appear to that post tonight. Atayenda kwa hiyo drawer na atoe hiyo barua ya promotion ambayo aliirusha juu ya masengenyo. Na kuite aseme servant of God, I am promoting you to the next level. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ile application will apply two years ago. Ata bosa haku soma, by the way, hili anguka chini. Kesho, kesho mandi. Aha. Uyo mstana wakusafisha, akienda kufagia, ata itoa. Aiweke kwa mesa. Bosa kuja isome. Haku ite, haku ambie. Are you Madam so and so? Are you Mr. so and so? Yeah, I've seen your application. You are the person that I'm looking for. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and decree. Our doors are opening. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our breakthroughs are coming. In the name of Jesus. We possess our possession. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is appearing to them. As we are praying now. As we are traveling now. The Lord is appearing to them. Uyo mshosu ameketi uko. Na akona bakuli, akona maji ndani. Anapitisha picha yako, akifanya incantations. Wow. 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 What is she waiting for? May she go down with the altar. In the name of Jesus Christ, she's going down. the next time she is calling your name there she will receive fire Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ for what concerns the family altars may God enable you with the grace that was upon Gideon may the Lord commission you when I read the Bible si jaona mungu alishuka na kayanga kufunja madabao aliambia Gideon alimu empower are we together? I am empowered. May the Lord empower us tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to ask, who is using divination against you? That friend, Muripiga selfie na yeye. Uliona tu any best day. Yeye akapeleka kiwa na makusudi. Hello? Am I talking to somebody? Kwa na mtu wapa pigi selfie? No. Kwa na mtu wapa pigi selfie? Na muna tembea ukiona mawa na mambia. Haki best day ni pigie picha. Una pose, una bigger, eh? Una ena kukula chipo, selfie. Mhm. Wao na weka yako kwa status. Yeye ana peleka yake kwa giza. Kwa sababu amewana utukufu wa mungu ndani yako. They divine against your destiny. They divine against your breakthrough. They divine against your blessings. Unaangalia yeye yako sawa. Adui mungu. Na wewe ndio nafua mungu. Unafilisika. Who is divining against your destiny? I declare and decree. Every diviner divining against your destiny. Every diviner divining against your breakthrough. Every diviner divining against your marriage is arrested in the name of Jesus. I arrest them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I arrest them. Mad. Are you getting me? Hallelujah. You make them mad. 
Ushaya kuta mtu anatoka asubuhi ameweka sulari kwa kichwa. Anatembea kimba. This is the prayer. Let them go mad. Pray 